What's going on, friends? Sam Prentice is back once again. We are at the Creality Experience Center in Shenzhen in China. We've been giving unprecedented first looks at some of their 3D printers. This is the CR10 SE. Let's get straight on into this one. You are watching a master at work. Before I start the video today, I wanted to let you know that we've got lots of content coming up looking at various processes at Creality. Interviews with the CEO, seeing how things are made in China, as I've been given full access to several of Creality's buildings. And for the very first time, I can show you what's really going on behind one of the most recognized 3D printing brands in the world. So make sure you like and subscribe and let's get straight on into this video. So here it is. It's the Creality CR10 SE. Now, the first thing that I said about this printer was, well, it kind of looks just like an Ender. What's really different about it? And they said, well, this is our CR style. So the CR and the budget Ender printers are very, very different animals. For example, there are two Z motors on this 3D printer, and we've got linear rails on the X and the Y. And of course, a daughter board here to make it super, super easy to build. In fact, this is only four screws to put the Z onto the bed. Right here, we have the CR Touch. And what makes this very, very different is, well, it's running Clipper. So here it is, the Creality Clipper screen, or Creality OS, depending on what side of the fence you're sitting on. Now, the great news about this is that it does connect to Wi-Fi. And as we go through the menus here, we can see a bunch of different features, like how to connect to your local network, all the usual stuff you'd normally find. But there's a couple of unique features that don't yet come with this printer, and there's gonna be some additions on that. So we're gonna have some AI detection. So there's gonna be a camera that's gonna be mounted, and also there's LiDAR. The camera and LiDAR elements, as mentioned, will be coming up in the next couple of months, and I expect at this scale, Creality will also then drop the source code. Again, these are additions, and really only additional features if you want them. So let's have a rundown on the specs on this first look. The printer, of course, is 220 by 220 by 265 millimeters with a gross weight of 12 kilos, net which is just over nine. And you'll need the heaviness for the speed elements to stop this thing rocking. We again have all the usual refinements of a 32-bit motherboard, power loss recovery, filament runout sensor, a 4.3-inch touchscreen with two USB sockets on the side, auto bed leveling, and upgraded Sprite hot end with a 60-watt ceramic heater encircling the hot end with a bi-metal heat break. So there are some key differences between the Ender and the CR range, and that's certainly what they told me. But the key differences really are the uprated material costs. The X and Y linear rails are really nice to have, and they do produce incredible tracking in this case. Creality also boasts that the print speeds are 600 millimeters per second with acceleration of 8,000 millimeters square. However, when slicing and printing in real life, who's really thinking 600 millimeters per second is a practical speed? I mean, reducing quality, right? Then I noticed something that I really wasn't happy with and I called a stop to the production. And while we have two floors of R&D in this building, well, we decided that we were gonna call in the experts. So there we go, the first resonance test is now done. I'm curious to find out why it's only the X that does the test and not the Y on the bed. And we'll try and speak to an engineer before I leave here to find out exactly why that is the case. I was expecting something in the bed, either in the motor or here, to have an accelerometer in it so you can get that other second point. Now, if it only has one accelerometer just for this, that's fine, but I just need to get clarification on that because I don't want to be telling people mm -hmm. it's one thing and actually it's another thing. The result of that, of course, is coming right up just after this brief advert. Thank you today for PCBWay.com for sponsoring this video. Hello, guys. This is Elaine, and this video is sponsored by PCBWay.com. So as I'm sure you're aware, PCB Way is the go-to manufacturer for PCBs in Shenzhen in China. And in fact, a couple of weeks ago, we managed to get a full tour of the factory to understand the processes and what it takes to produce said products. That video will be coming out soon, but meanwhile, don't forget to check out PCBWay.com for all your PCB manufacturing needs. Bye. <laughs> Let's get back to Creality. So part of the engineering team actually came down to have a look at our prints and due to the language barrier, I wasn't convinced that my concern around the residence test being on only one access was being understood. So we went over it again. So there must be a sensor in the bed because the bed's gonna move next, not the hot end. Because you won't just take one access for resonance. Oh, you have to have two. Yeah. At first I was informed that if you only test with the X axis, the system will automatically generate compensation for the missing Y axis. And then I was shown a port on the back of the screen, and this is actually where you will plug in the accelerometer to measure the movement on the Y. And this is very similar to what we've seen on the Sonic Pad, and you plug and measure. So once we got past that, I recognized that we also had sensorless homing enabled, so no switches. And I also noticed how quiet the printer was when printing. Even the fan wasn't too bad, and I'm told that that can run up to 12,000 RPM. 
The prints that we tried in a relatively short time were pretty much bang on, and while I feel like boasting about the speedy prints isn't always an accurate representation, the printers seem to perform really well. So this is the speedy test, which is a two wall print. It's 600 on the internal and 400 on the external. And incidentally, these are not my hands. They are Scott's hands. He is my cameraman and he has very, very manly hands. Back to that CR10. Now I did speak to a few people about why this is a CR10, as I had a difficult time seeing it as not a vajazzled Ender 3. And I was told that the vision very much came from one of the directors as he wanted to revisit the CR10 under a slightly different format. And for me, this kind of felt right, as it was the original CR10 that really got me into 3D printing. And it's a craftsman printer, not just a budget printer. Plus this time round, with the Creality Cloud, you can print remotely and print directly from your desktop. So without an SD card. Then I got up to my old tricks. Yeah, no one's seen this before, yeah. exclusive right here. Yeah, this filament is... dry box by Creality. What's the unique features on this, the dry filament? You, yeah, dry the filament. You can see here. That's yeah. the main point. <laughs> so here we have the Creality's new filament dry box. I'm not entirely sure if I should even be showing this off, but I did get a photo with it earlier. Um, it's kind of what you would expect with a dry box. There's a heating element just in there below. There's a knob on the front, and uh, we don't know any details about this at the moment, but there's a little sneaky peek of things that's going on at Creality at the moment. So, Creality Dry Box, if you're in the market for that, check it out on the website coming soon. So finally we have the price, and at 459, it's not a budget printer, but then it's not a budget build either. Let me know about what you think about this printer in the comments, and we will see you next time. So friends, that's the CR10 SE. I'm gonna leave you with the live stream video that we shot, it's the first live stream. I hope you enjoy that. Give us a like, hit the comments out below, and we will see you next time. Hello, Zora. Yeah, I'm just outside. What floor are you on? Sorry? Oh, you're live now. Okay, I'm on my way. Hey, this is real, Sam Prentice. You are watching a master at work.